Um, Nairobi Women's Hospital opened its doors on the 5th of March, uh, the year 2001. Um, so it's now slightly past 10 years. Uh, I must admit it's been a long journey. We started with one branch in Hallingham and subsequently in 2009 opened our second branch um, at Adam's Arcade. And just two months ago, uh, we opened our third branch in Ogatarongai. It's a fairly large facility. It has uh, 77 beds. It has uh, about uh, 40 patients. Um, a wide range of clinics in outpatient. It also has inpatient services. And it has a, a conditioned uh, sort of the art theatre with the new equipment. Um, it has a radiology, that's uh, the medical imaging department. We also have a laboratory for diagnostics. And also we have a pharmacy. The Hunnam branch has very skilled and experienced staff that deal with mainly of course women um, health issues. That's very unique because we have a lot of patients that come through our doors and our doctors and nurses are trained and of course experienced to handle these particular kind of cases and give care above which can be expected anywhere else. The Gender Violence Recovery Center of the Nairobi Men's Hospital was, uh, uh, it came to being in March 2001 uh, in response to a need that was felt at the community level. Uh, we had uh, women who had been battered, uh, we had uh, women who were going through sexual violence and they didn't have a place to seek uh, support from. And so the center was uh, created in response to that felt need. And uh, to date we have been able to support over 19,000 survivors of gender-based violence. Our vision is very clear. Um, we certainly want to, to touch um, at any given time. I mean, if, if we look at the, our purpose is that every woman who is actually looking for a place to really be cared for, to have a child safely, to have their children looked after safely, to have their, their needs looked after, we want to be the first point of call. When somebody gets admitted to Nairobi Women's Hospital, they should have the comfort to know that in the unfortunate event that um, their patient got worse and needed ICU services, they, they need that comfort that they can get a bed. The whole idea um, from a strategic point of view is to make sure we are accessible and uh, we're making sure that um, we are going where we know um, women currently do not have um, the service available. That actually is going to be our unique proposition from the expansion strategy that we're taking, uh, that we're rolling out at the moment. One of the things that we realize is that there's a huge shortage of healthcare workers, not only in this country, but also in the region. And the capacity of the existing medical training colleges is limited. So you find that there's a shortage on one end of healthcare workers, and yet there's enough supply of our young adults who are coming out of Form 4 who are qualified to join colleges, who easily train um, in these colleges if they were available. So in the Nairobi Women's Hospital Group, we've added a new uh, institution, the Nairobi Women's Hospital Medical Training College, uh, initially going to be based uh, in Ongata Rongai branch, uh, and they're also going to be uh, practicing within our other branches as well. And we have the vision that in another five to ten years, we should be the private sector leader in training healthcare workers in this region. One of the other responsibilities that we've taken upon ourselves as Nairobi Women's Hospital, of course this is also a requirement, is that the disposal of medical waste uh, in this country has not been handled very well in the past and um, working with the GIZ we've invested more than 30 million Kenya shillings. Uh, again to the best of my knowledge we have the largest, now the largest 
and the most modern medical waste incinerator in this region uh, that is smoke free and we did uh, a deliberate over investment in terms of capacity so that then we can help the small and medium hospitals especially within Nairobi to be able to incinerate their waste. We've undertaken a huge, huge strategic piece of work and uh, what we call an engagement piece of work with every single member of staff. Um, and this is going to be continuous. And in doing this, what we've done is um, we spent now the last four months um, actually calling in all the staff. First of all, we developed really what is our purpose as an organization, making sure that every single member of staff um, buys into that purpose understands who we are and what we stand for and then making sure that we keep that alive um, from programs that we're going to continue to run so that everybody who comes to work uh, for um, Nairobi Women's Hospital uh, does not see this as as a job yeah they see it as a vocation um, so that is something we're trying to ingrain and build um, as we go on and it's not going to take a day. It is a program that we have put in place for every single member of staff going forward now. We've chosen a vision and mission that people can live every day and they can remember with their hearts. This is something that we live every day and we would like the public to hold us to account.